Imagine standing on the deck of a powerful warship, cutting through the waves and preparing for a mission. In the distance, the sky is streaked with clouds, and beneath you lies a steel giant capable of protecting its country and allies. This is not fiction. This is the reality of the new British Type 31 frigates. What makes them so special? Why could they change the future of the Navy? Today we will explore what makes these ships unique and why the UK needed to build them. The Type 31 frigates were created as part of a large-scale Royal Navy modernization program. The British understood that older ships were retiring and needed to be replaced with something new, fast, powerful, and at the same time not too expensive. That's why the Type 31 project was born. Ships capable of performing multiple tasks worldwide and ensuring the security of the UK and its allies. The foundation for the Type 31 was the Danish Iver Hjutfeldt class frigate, a ship that had already proven its effectiveness. The Danes designed a simple yet powerful vessel that could carry modern weaponry while remaining cost effective. The UK took this design as a basis and adapted it to its own needs. One of the key advantages of the Type 31 is its cost. Unlike the expensive Type 26 frigates, which are primarily designed for anti-submarine warfare, the new ships are meant to be versatile. The budget for constructing one ship was around £250 million sterling. This is significantly cheaper than modern destroyers and large frigates, allowing more ships to be built for the same money. Externally, the Type 31 looks impressive. Nearly 139 meters in length, about 20 meters in width, and a displacement of 5,700 tons. This is a serious vessel built to last for decades. It reaches speeds of up to 28 knots, making it fast and maneuverable, and its range allows it to operate in the most remote corners of the world. Now let's talk about its armament. The frigates are equipped with a modern air defense system using CMMC Scepter missiles. This means the ship can shoot down enemy missiles and aircraft at a range of up to 25 kilometers. Additionally, the Type 31 is fitted with a 57mm Mk-110 automatic naval gun, a powerful weapon capable of engaging air, sea, and land targets. In addition to the main artillery, the ship is armed with two 40mm BE Systems Mk-4 guns and two 30mm DS-30M guns. This makes it an extremely dangerous opponent in close combat. Although it is not initially equipped with anti-ship missiles, its design allows for their future installation. Another important feature is its aviation capability. The frigate can carry a Merlin or Wildcat helicopter as well as several drones. This provides the ship with additional reconnaissance, anti-submarine warfare and search and rescue capabilities. The Type 31 is not just a warship, it is a multi-role tool. It can patrol the world's oceans, protect trade routes, participate in NATO missions, and even carry out humanitarian operations. For example, in the event of a natural disaster, the ship can deliver aid and evacuate victims. Another major advantage of the frigate is its modularity. This means the ship can be adapted for different tasks. If enhanced anti-submarine capabilities are needed, sonar and torpedoes can be installed. If additional firepower is required, the ship is ready to integrate new weapon systems. This flexibility allows it to be used in a variety of scenarios. The names of the ships were also chosen with purpose. The first ship, HMS Venturer, is named after the British submarine that, in 1945, became the first in history to sink another submarine in underwater combat. The other ships also carry historically significant names, HMS Active, HMS Formidable, HMS Bulldog, and HMS Campbellton. Of course, the new project has not been without controversy. Some experts believe that the Type 31 is not sufficiently protected against underwater threats. Unlike the Type 26, it lacks advanced sonar systems and specialized anti-submarine weaponry. However, its primary role is not submarine warfare but maintaining the Navy's presence in different regions of the world. Interestingly, the UK is considering exporting these ships. Poland and Indonesia have already shown interest in them. 
This could make the Type 31 one of the most popular designs in its class on the international market. The Type 31 frigates represent a new chapter in British shipbuilding. They combine power, versatility, and cost-effectiveness. Their main mission is to ensure the security of maritime routes, protect allies, and maintain the Royal Navy's presence around the globe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on the new British frigate. Will they become a successful project? Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.